Yo, what's up guys, Nakama here and back with another tutorial and today I'm going to be showcasing the True Files tutorial also known as the Information Inventory which is a much more understandable uh, terminology for people who don't know what a True File is but generally yeah, this is the one this is the Information Inventory and uh, and what it can do is, uh, let me just show it so hey, could you hold this knife? so these two are detectives our detective female uh, Helen and male detective Fishin. Hey, could you hold this knife for me? It's the weapon the culprit used. Okay, and culprit's knife has been added to true files. So with that uh, notification, we can see that if you press the true files, there's the culprit's knife. And if you press the word, there's this a knife with a black shaft. The culprit apparently used it. And you can drag this around. Pretty cool. You can close this, close it. And it doesn't like... Uh, affect the gameplay you can, but anytime you can look at it also yeah and also hold this watch it's a is a gift my mother gave me said Fushin and we got uh Fushin's watch and uh watch Fushin's uh, uh gave it to Helen and Fushin's mother gave it gave it to him as a gift as you can see you can like stack up information throughout the runtime of the game it was very useful in my uh, detective game that I I made I'm currently still working on for the newer updates. Check that out uh, when it comes out. I also found this nail that was stuck on the wall next to the door. There seems to be a small doll attached to it with a string. All right, I'll take a picture of that. Nail stuck on the wall has been added to true files. And also, yeah, nail stuck on the wall. A nail that was uh, stuck on the wall opposite the door, it has a small doll attached to it with a string. And if you uh, press the show picture, uh, you get traumatized for life. So yeah, that's the doll, the picture of the doll, and you close it, and you close it. Also, regarding the watch, it uses the sun ray to charge and doesn't break underwater. It's pretty cool. Fushin's watch has been uh, updated. And yeah, with that, and if you see this, new, this is a new line that it got uh, updated with that, and it wasn't there previously, so using that we can also update our true files it's pretty cool and it's very useful yeah it's so nice to have this yeah no yeah understatement of the century so okay how do we actually like do this in RimPy, right this label start the previous stuff doesn't matter and uh, these are just the sprites that i was showcasing however this for example the evidence one plus true plus equals true this is a variable you do you write variables in the RimPy and in Python with a dollar sign. The reason it's also why it plus true is because it's changing a variable. If it was like this, or if it was like this, it wouldn't be actually be changing any variables at all. But uh, with a plus and uh, plus equal, you are changing this variable to true, uh, which is how those files managed to enter the true files. It was necessary to do so. So moving to a different file, this is another file I created called true file. And in here you can see the defaults of a lot of the variables. For example, the evidence one to three and update are all false, set to false. So so when it becomes plus true, then you know naturally these uh, things become true, but at the start of the game they're defaulted to be false. And this also uh, I set the images. This is the background image I was using for the true file that uh, this is the one I was using. And this is the doll picture. Yeah, this is for previous stuff. This is the true file back background. And this is the styles that I said. This is very useful and uh, I'm honestly kind of like uh, too much of a shrewd guy. I kind of don't care about style that much, which is kind of a really uh, bad habit, I guess, especially considering you're supposed to make uh, cool kick-ass games and visual style and music style matters a lot. And yeah, this is the T2 touch button and this is the, the button you were seeing previously. And yeah, this background picture that I was using, I named, named it BL True but button, uh, Blue True File button stands for it. And I made the made position of it, it's a background, so I generally a window and that's how you set the background and of course it's a button so and since it, every button you have to assign an action to it so a button uh, yeah this is the align and when your action show true files and uh, text is and of course the button also has a te text i could also like set it as a text button but this is also one 
another way to do you do a button and then you write a text inside it and style white black uh, the reason it's called white black is because this is the HTML code for white and this is the HTML code for black and yeah HTML code you know everyone uses it you can just search on the internet and find the actual HTML code of exact uh, colors so when as you, and this is the uh, ramp codes for it. this is the color and this is the hover color there you can also uh, like find the, all the style properties in the style property ramp documentation and use it, as you can say you can say idle hover instead of and all those information are here so if you say like hover and then you add stuff like stuff from here then something happens when uh, the when the button is hovered or the, t the text is hovered so uh, when it hovers it changes the color to this and this is the black blue version of this and the truth that file that is being called is this uh, and it's named model true because if about model true you will be able to continue the game while the true files are, is opening we kind of don't want that and this is the frame for the close this is only the frame for the close but this watch it which is why the size is so small 200 by 60 and this is the actual uh, frame that contains the the files that we were looking at and uh, this is the background the picture of the detective is uh, in the background and in a viewport you make you need to make a viewport so that you can add a vbox into it and of course uh with a report with a report you can actually i mean yeah without this you can you can also like write text you can't do a whole lot without the report so we box is you know a vertical it stands for vertical box if it was an h box it will be a horizontal box for we box all the uh information that's going to be displayed is going to be in a vertical uh, uh, vertical list yeah this is an if statement we don't need an else statement just if this is true then this happens that's the only thing that's necessary because it's a true false statement if evidence one is true then this text button appears and this text button makes it so that call knife a, a different screen uh shows up this is also like similar very similar stuff if everyone's two is true then fusion's watch button shows up if everyone's three is uh true then this comes up so uh call knife is in another screen with a drag uh, you write drag so that you know you establish that this is a draggable and you write draggable true so that it becomes a able so that this whole frame becomes to be able to be dragged around frame is under the draggable so you can drag the whole frame uh the drag race true actually doesn't do anything the idea is that uh, if there were multiple draggables in this screen uh, you were you are supposed to be able to if you like drag one draggable then that draggable goes in the front so if there's something on the back and you press on the back draggable and if you drag it around then that draggable comes in the front and you are able to uh, see that but unfortunately uh, this drag race only applies in the entire screen and, and not the game itself so unfortunately it kind of doesn't work you can see, clearly see that it doesn't work this is supposed to be i'm dragging it so naturally the, the drag through should uh, make it so that this draggable should come in front of it but it doesn't yeah it's it's a bit problematic i wish i could fix it but i don't know how that's the only thing i real thing i really need to know i think but i don't know i, I really asked i asked a bunch of people didn't get it maybe if you know uh, tell me in the comments and uh, also this is how updates work it's very similar to how updates were being done here so you just have the v box and you uh, you just add an if statement if update one and text this comes up if it doesn't then th this text is going to be visible uh, invisible and as you can see this is the show picture button there's two text button this is the close button and this is the show picture button if you press this then you get the picture of the doll uh you can't write image inside a screen like you might want to do this but i don't think it worked i don't think it works you just write add and that adds this picture into the screen and this is the close button i made it so that the close button has a textile black blue because the white dark default version makes it so that uh, the button appears in a, on a white background a white text appears in a white background and that's kind of blah so i changed the text style in here i 
rock style white black and it worked out because this was a text uh, and this is all done inside a button but I also wrote in here as a text button if you like did a full uh, like a style then it, if you do this then it won't work because uh, the game thinks that the style change is only working on the button and not the actual text which is why you have to do text uh, style yeah and this align is also supposed to like make the a button uh, appear a certain place it could have been here i just i don't know i don't know why i did it that way <laughs> yeah and also i forgot to mention from the in the true file i also wrote in the report mouse wheel arrow keys scroll bars vertical the mouse wheel is mouse wheel arrow keys are very simple if this was if this had a lot a lot of uh, so many information that you can actually use the scroll bar then you'll also be able to control the scroll bar with your mouse wheel and you'll also be able to control it with your uh, arrow keys unfortunately the items in here are not that many so i can't showcase it to you guys but yeah it works and of course the scroll bar is saying that it's a vertical it has to be a vertical scroll bar that's about it and hope you all enjoyed that one